Hello, this is Mark from tradeinform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate the compound annual growth rate in Excel. This video is one of a series that I am currently doing on trading metrics and how to analyse our trading and backtest performance. So compound annual growth rate, we need a few inputs into this. We need the key one is our final capital, our capital at the end of our trading period, and we need our starting capital. In addition to that, we need the number of years that we have been trading the strategy. Because it is obviously it's the compound annual growth rate, so we're going to measure this in the number of years. So you can see on the screen the calculation sheet that I am using and I've highlighted in green the inputs that we need. Now, as I said, the first part of this is final capital and then divided that by the starting capital. We also need the number of trading years and I'm just going to show you the formula that I've used to calculate this. I've used the built-in Excel formula year frac and I've taken the final and the first date. Now we always want to make our Excel backtest spreadsheets as automated as possible. So I've made this one flexible and so if we wanted to change this date, it will change the number of years that we are trading. Okay, so the formula is nice and simple. We just take our final capital we divide it by our starting capital and we put these in brackets Then we put this to the power of we open up another set of brackets and we do one divided by the number of years and we close that then I'm going to put everything in another set of brackets here and I'm going to subtract one from that and it really is as simple as that. I've got a compound annual growth rate of this strategy of 6.2%. Now we can make this, as I said, we've got a bit of flexibility built into there and I'll just demonstrate. As I said, if we could change this date here, we can see our compound annual growth rate change as well. I can put that to 2015. The number of trading years declines and in this case our and your growth rate increases. The other thing, of course, to be aware of when we're looking at a trading strategy is that leverage has a huge impact in how our trading strategy performs. So I've set this at one to one, but if I was to switch this to two, we can see our compound annual growth rate jumps, also our drawdown, and that is pretty much always going to happen. I could put that to three and again we can see much higher annual growth rate but we are taking on a greater risk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the rest of the videos in this series on how to measure your trading performance using trading metrics in Excel and for more information about trading the financial markets please go to www.treadinformed.com.